Can you believe it? Simone Biles just pulled off one of the most incredible performances of her career at the 2024 Paris Olympics. Despite facing immense pressure and overcoming mental health challenges, she nailed her routines with jaw-dropping precision and grace, leaving the audience in awe. How does she keep raising the bar and redefining what's possible in gymnastics? Months ago, you were rotting in bed, and now you have an Olympic bronze medal in the all-around. What has it taken to get here? Um, it has taken so much. I mean, I was telling everyone today, like, I really didn't think that I Simone Biles is not just any gymnast. She's a phenomenon. By the time she arrived at the 2024 Paris Olympics, she had already cemented herself as one of the greatest athletes in history. Her journey to this point is nothing short of extraordinary. With a total of 32 Olympic and World Championship medals, Simone had already set the bar incredibly high. She first burst onto the Olympic scene in Rio 2016, where she won four gold medals and a bronze, dominating the competition with her incredible strength agility, and innovative routines. AD and Steph yeah. Curry, what it means to you to have those guys supporting, um, Katie told me after that. Her list of accomplishments is staggering. She has skills named after her on three different apparatuses, a testament to her innovative approach to the sport. The Biles and Biles 2 on floor exercise, the Biles on vault, and the Biles on Balance Beam are all moves that only she has successfully performed in competition. Before the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, Simone had already won every major competition she entered, including five world all-around titles, making her the most decorated gymnast of all time. The road from Tokyo to Paris was anything but smooth for Simone. The Tokyo 2020 Olympics were a turning point in her career, but not for the reasons everyone expected. In Tokyo, Simone faced a challenge that wasn't about physical prowess, but mental strength. During the games, she experienced the twisties, a disorienting condition where gymnasts lose their sense of spatial awareness. This led her to withdraw from several events to prioritize her mental health, a move that sparked widespread discussions about the importance of mental well-being in sports. Simone's decision to step back was both brave and necessary. After Tokyo, she took a significant break from gymnastics, a time during which she focused on her mental health. She shared openly about her struggles, revealing the pressures and expectations that come with being at the top of one's field. Therapy became a crucial part of her routine, and she dedicated herself to understanding and managing her mental health. Her honesty about these struggles made her a role model, not just for athletes, but for anyone facing mental health challenges. Returning to competition was a gradual process for Simone. She worked closely with her coaches, Cecile and Laurent Landy, who supported her every step of the way. She also leaned heavily on her family and friends for emotional support. By the time she was ready to compete again, she had developed new coping strategies and a renewed sense of purpose. Her journey back to the gym was marked by a commitment to enjoying the sport she loves without the overwhelming pressure to be perfect. The atmosphere at the Bercy Arena in Paris was electric. You could feel the anticipation buzzing through the crowd, a mix of fans and celebrities all eager to witness history in the making. The arena was packed, with everyone from die-hard gymnastics enthusiasts to famous faces like Kendall Jenner and basketball star Stephen Curry. Their presence only added to the excitement and underscored the significance of the event. People were there not just to watch a competition, but to see Simone Biles, the living legend, perform what could be one of the most remarkable routines of her career. Simone's performance that night was nothing short of spectacular. She started with her Biles II vault, a move so difficult that most gymnasts wouldn't even attempt it. This vault involves a double-twisting double backflip, and Simone executed it flawlessly, earning high scores right from the start. It set the tone for the rest of her routines, showing everyone that she meant business. This is usually considered her weakest event, and she did face an unexpected challenge here. During her routine, she made an uncharacteristic mistake, missing a connection and having to bend her knees to avoid touching the ground. Despite this hiccup, Simone's training and mental fortitude kicked in. She quickly refocused and finished her routine with grace and determination. On the balance beam, Simone showcased her incredible balance and precision, 
Her routine was packed with difficult elements, including a series of flips and spins that left the audience in awe. She scored an impressive 14.566, which helped her regain her lead. Her routine combined powerful tumbling passes with elegant dance moves, demonstrating why she's considered the greatest of all time. The crowd was on their feet, cheering her every move. Her performance on the floor was flawless, scoring 15.066 and sealing her victory. The mistake on the uneven bars was a rare misstep for her, and it could have rattled even the most seasoned gymnast. But Simone showed incredible mental strength. In her own words, she said, I was probably praying to every single god out there, trying to refocus and recenter myself, because that's not the bar's routine I have been training. This moment of vulnerability reveals just how human she is, even as she performs superhuman feats. After her uneven bars routine, Simone took a moment to gather herself. She focused on re-entering a calm and confident mindset before moving on to the beam. This ability to quickly reset and move forward is a testament to her experience and mental toughness. She knew the competition wasn't over and that she still had a chance to excel in the remaining events. Simone Biles' journey back to the top of the gymnastics world was as much about mental resilience as it was about physical prowess. After the challenges she faced during the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, where she dealt with the twisties, a disorienting condition affecting her spatial awareness, she made a brave decision to prioritize her mental health. Simone has been very open about her struggles, sharing that she regularly attends therapy sessions to maintain her mental well-being. I've been in therapy religiously every Thursday, and now whenever I need it," she said. Her honesty about these struggles has helped to destigmatize mental health issues in the sports world and beyond. Returning to competition required a new level of mental preparation. Simone focused on techniques like visualization and mindfulness to help manage the pressure and stress. She often spoke about the importance of being mentally fit to perform at her best. It's been a journey, but it's also been a lot of fun to rediscover my love for the sport," she explained. This mental fortitude was evident as she stepped back onto the competition floor, ready to take on the world once again. Physically, Simone's preparation for the Paris Olympics was nothing short of grueling. Her training regime was intense, designed to ensure she was in peak condition. She spent countless hours in the gym, perfecting her routines and maintaining her strength and flexibility. Each day included a mix of strength training, endurance workouts, and skill-specific practice on the apparatuses. Her coaches, Cecile and Laurent Landy, played a crucial role in her preparation. They tailored her training to gradually increase difficulty while ensuring she remained healthy and injury-free. The support from her family was equally important. They provided a strong emotional foundation helping her stay grounded and focused. Simone often credited her family's unwavering support as a key factor in her ability to return to the sport she loves. Winning the all-around title at the 2024 Paris Olympics was a historic achievement for Simone Biles. Her final scores were a testament to her incredible talent and resilience. Starting strong with her Biles II vault, she set a high benchmark with a score that few could match. Despite a rare mistake on the uneven bars, she quickly regained her composure and delivered stellar performances on the balance beam and floor exercise. <laughs> but it's good, you know, I'm, I'm gonna hand it to her now, she can have the rest. Rebecca Andrade and Sunisa Lee, her closest competitors, put up a fierce fight. Andrade, who won silver, and Lee, who took bronze, pushed Simone to bring her best to the floor. But it was Simone's consistency and difficulty level that ultimately secured her the gold. She finished with a total score of 59.131, comfortably ahead of Andrade. This victory was significant for several reasons. Simone became the oldest gymnast in 72 years to win the all-around title, demonstrating her longevity in a sport typically dominated by younger athletes. She also became the first gymnast to win non-consecutive all-around Olympic titles, adding another historic milestone to her already illustrious career. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.